Good evening. It's a little earlier today, and we're gonna watch a movie after we're done this evening, and so we're recording just a little earlier than usual so you can see the light outside as well. Um, this evening, it is Caleb's pick, and he has picked for us hymn 227, Come Let Us Join Our Cheerful Songs. We're gonna sing verse one and two, of him 227. Come, let us join our cheerful songs with angels round the throne. Ten thousand thousand are their tongues, but all their joys are one. Worthy the man that died, they cry, to be exalted thus. Worthy the man our lips reply, for he was slain for As we read through the book of 2 Peter, all of chapter 2 is actually one section, at least in my Bible, talks about false teachers and their destruction. Um, because it is so long, we're going to chop that section in half. <laughs> so we'll read verses 1 through um, about, we'll say 10a today. There's a paragraph marker there for me. So 1 through 10. But there were also false prophets among the people, just as there will be false prophets among you. They will secretly introduce destructive heresies, even denying the sovereign Lord who bought them, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Many will follow their shameful ways and will bring the way of truth into dispute. In their greed, these teachers will exploit you with stories they have made up. Their condemnation has long been hanging over them and their destruction has not been sleeping. For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but sent them to hell, putting them into gloomy dungeons to be held for judgment, if he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on its ungodly people, but protected Noah, a preacher of righteousness, and seven others, if he condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah by burning them to ashes, and made them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly. And if he rescued Lot, a righteous man, who was distressed by the filthy lives of lawless men, for that righteous man living among them day after day was tormented in his soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard. If this is so, then the Lord knows how to rescue godly men from trials and to hold the unrighteous for the day of judgment, while continuing their punishment. This is especially true of those who follow the corrupt desires of the sinful nature and despise authority. I need to see in this section. Caitlin? Peter warned us against false prophets. Peter's warning us against false prophets. What are false prophets? Marcus? Is he? Um, there are people who teach, who say they're believers, but they're really not, and they're teaching something else. Something else than? What you believe. Uh, Caleb. A false prophet is somebody who does not rely fully on scripture. Okay, the Bible, right? So it's not what I believe, it's what the Bible teaches, right? And hopefully what I believe and what the Bible teaches are the same thing, right? As we look at that. Um, so a false teacher is somebody who teaches something other than what God has taught us in the pages of Scripture. So God's word remains the rule as we think about that. What else do you see in here? Marcus? That false prophets would think they will teach you false stories. Okay. They're going to teach false stuff. Caleb? He's not going to spare the, God's not going to spare the unbelievers. Yeah, that's scary, isn't it, when we hear that talk? 
And there's a lot of heavy law in this section. Did anybody catch gospel in this one? There was some. The good news? What did God do for, for men like Oh, he talks about Noah in there, and he talks about some others as well. Lot and, and the rest. Caleb? Spares them. He spares them. Why is that? Caitlin? Because they still had faith. Okay. Because they have that faith that connects them to Jesus and everything that he has done, right? They hear the true teaching of God's word, and by God's grace, believe in that true teaching. And he spares the righteous, those who have been saved by faith in Christ, made righteous because of what Jesus has done for us. These he spares. But the unbeliever, right, the false prophet, as he talks about them, well, that's a very different story here. And we talked about the gloomy dungeons and all the rest, right? Just like um, the angels were not spared. So he says they won't be either. Um, but you and I, as people who believe in God's word and and believe what it teaches, right? Through our faith in Christ Jesus, yeah, then we'll be saved, right? As we hold to that teaching, as God keeps us in that teaching. Anything else in this section? Okay, we'll pause there and we'll come back to those thoughts as we read the rest of this chapter tomorrow. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Please help Caitlin, Caleb, Izzy, Marcus, Mommy, Daddy, and all we know and love. Have a good night's sleep. Help them to fall asleep and sleep all the way through the night and wake up happy and healthy. In your name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God bless.